Today's lesson, we're going to be find a function to model the relationship between the age of runners and their running time. Round to the nearest hundredth. Be ready to explain why the function you chose is the best model for the given data. So we're going to go to the calculator that I shared with you. Right. Oh, sorry, we're going to start a new we're going to start a new graph here. We're going to type in table and then we're going to type in the data from the table. So 15. 25, Okay, so there's my data. No, notice again, we can't see it, so I need to adjust my axes negative five you'll notice i always i always have a negative for my starting value that's because i want to see the origin i think it's important to see the origin so we'll negative five to 70 and negative five to 320. Um, you don't have to see the origin. It's just personal preference. I like seeing the origin on the graph. I think it gives me a point of reference. So then what we can do is we can go to the calculator that I shared. We can copy the linear regression model. And we can paste that here. And we can ask ourselves, do we think that's a good fit? Why or why not? Then we can take the exponential regression model. We can put that in and ask ourselves if we think that's a good fit, why or why not. You'll see these are the same, which we can kind of talk about why that might be happening. And then we can try the quadratic regression model. And we'll see if that's a better fit. Now, just like we do with the linear regression model, we can write the actual equation here, y equals, and we use the variables given here in the bottom. We see that a is 0 0.17, so we'll round to the nearest hundred, 0 0.17 x squared. We see b is negative, negative 13.71 x, and c is 451.76. And you'll see those two models are very close. That's just because of rounding. We're rounding to the nearest hundred, so it's not exact but it's close enough and that's what we're going to do for our models and, and we can see here that obviously the linear regression model and the exponential regression models are not good fits for this data and that a good model would be the quadratic regression model which is this red line and then we just rewrite it uh, using the data that's given to us from the parameters of the equation so they tell us the value of a they tell us the value of b and they tell us the value of c and we input that so this is our regression equation and this is the equation that we'll use to make any predictions uh, if we need to make predictions uh, about this data um, using the model uh, using the data that was given and then using this model um, so it's important that you're able to transfer the information from the regression model to actually writing a equ equation whether it's linear exponential or quadratic.